so uh, we'll, we'll start by doing the fennel because we, I had a nice fennel, uh, baby fennels, and I had to uh, take some off. So let's cook them. Uh, I love I love those young young veggies. Uh, I just I just took the roots off, and I'm going to put them in the in the skillet with uh, lots of uh, fresh olive oil. This fresh olive oil is from here, local? It's, it's uh, not far away from here. Not far away. And tons of olive oil. And some white wine. Um, the way I cook is, uh, is uh, I keep veggies um, as simple as I can. Just uh, a little uh, white pepper that I crush. Uh, each time, uh, aluminum, uh, and salt. Why, why white, not black? Preference? I, I, I prefer white uh, pepper for veggies and, and actually for most of the things. What's your It's uh, it is much more aromatic. Much more aromatic. And I add some saffron. And later on, we'll go to, to the garden and, to, and we'll bring some uh, cilantro to put on top with the, those leaves. Instead of a lid, I'm using the leaves. It also in, enhances the flavor. And uh, the lemon juice, from, it's uh, sweet lemons. They call it in the States Maya lemons. And, and those Maya lemons are excellent for the fennel. So we'll use it once uh, it's going to be a little uh, cooked. I'm not, thank you. I'm not going to cook it for a very long time. And I'm not using tons of uh, saffron, something like this. Okay, so the Swiss chard, uh, you see I, I'm, I'm picking it from the garden with the root. And now I'm just going to clean it. And I'm not worried that uh, some of the leaves don't look so nice because uh, we had uh, 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 hail. hail. We had hail, so... So it froze? It, fr it froze and all those uh, little, uh, you know, yes, all the little holes. And it's organic garden, so uh, we have lots of uh, animals. Neighbors. Yes. The less you uh, deal with the veggie, the better they are. And actually, I don't cook them for a long time because it's really young uh, fennels. So I just want the, liquid, the alcohol to evaporate. And I need a little, a little, a little, little bit of uh, honey, if I find it here. My neighbor has uh, lots of uh, different... Be beehives? Yeah. So sour, the wine is sour, the lemons are sour, and then the sweetness of the honey, it balances it off. Okay. It's ready. Yes, is that your first garden? I mean, like you grew up in Tel Aviv, right? Or right yeah, this is, my, this is, this is, the, this is my first garden. My first garden. When I was, a, I used to have a, a restaurant and bakery, so when I got from uh, my suppliers leaves like this, I would return them and tell them what 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 is it? It's horrible uh, leaves. Now, I, when I grow them, I understand that they, you know uh, they might look they, this way, but they are very tasty. Uh, to speak about uh, Israeli uh, cooking, what is it? 800 meters from here in Lebanon, they cook Lebanese food. Uh, and if you can uh, watch from the windows, there is a Druze village here. Uh, those Druze cook exactly the same like the Druze in uh, Lebanon. And the, the Christians in a nearby village also cook like the Christians in south of Lebanon. So uh, we are in, a, in an area that we cook in all of northern Israel actually especially in the mountains, that we cook Lebanese food. And Lebanese food is connected to Syrian food and, of course, Turkish 
food because the Ottomans ruled here for 400 years, so... They brought the influence, yeah. Uh, uh, How would you define Lebanese food, though? Like, if you need to differentiate it from Lots the of cuisine. green in the winter. We are in the winter now. Lots of green, lots of green leaves, lots of yogurt. Uh, I will cook something now. That I think will, uh, it's fascinating because, right, in the States, greens, yogurt, it's more spring, summer. Right? Yes. The association of winter yes. with those foods is No, uh, no, in, a sp in, in spring, summer, we, are, we have uh, 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 tomatoes and uh, eggplants. <laughs> and uh, and uh, very nice uh, hot peppers. Okay, let's cook it. First, I, I start with olive oil. When the skillet is not warm, otherwise the olive oil will burn and becomes bitter. Then I put all of those in, in there. Yeah, and now I'm not going to use uh, wine, salt, white pepper. Here, I have some. Do you need some more? No. And, but I need a little nutmeg, a little nutmeg. It's wow. very fresh uh, nutmeg that, very I, fresh. that I got from the east, yeah. I brought it with me. <laughs> it's not allowed. Very, very strong flame. Very strong flame. So actually, uh, in the winter, we use a lot of uh, wild herbs. Uh, we'll go later on to the garden and we'll see, uh, to the forest and we'll see them. Wild Swiss chard. We have wild uh, beets. We have wild sorrel leaf. Uh, we have tons of uh, greens. Okay, this, we call it kishk, and it comes from the yogurt in the season, and we cook it with a little burgul, and, and then we grate it, and, and, and we dry it. You cook it? Yeah, yeah, and we dry it, and now, it, it, when it's dry, we can grate it in the winter when we don't have lots of uh, fresh... Uh, fresh uh, and that's some, I don't recall ever seeing it in Israel here. No? In my, in my time. No. And now you see, you see it quite a lot. Yeah, it becomes very trendy. Nowadays. Kish. Kish. Kishke. Okay. A little water. And it becomes yogurt. That's amazing. Very little yogurt, very little water. That's it, it's ready. It's ready. When we say, it's always a good sign here. Let, let's serve it. Let's put some more uh, quiche on top. So we will taste it. We grate it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This is Labanais from goat milk, that uh, also we do it in the season and we dry it, and it's delicious with uh, You fennel. dry it? Yeah, it's kind of a, uh, you... Age it? Yeah, we age it, and uh, it's kind of a, how do you langir? All the way, the way is... Uh, you take all the liquid out, yeah, all the way then out. it becomes uh, dry, and now it's the pickled lemons during the autumn. When the small lemons arrive, uh, we call them Egyptian lemons. And those are pickled in salt? Yes, you pickle them only in salt, no other spice. And then you leave them in olive oil 
for and it keeps for a year. Then you take all the skin out, the seeds out. So let's take some uh, lettuce. You just take the young leaves. Just take the young leaves. Separate them. Just mix it together. And nothing else. Nothing else. All the sourness comes from the pickled lemons, the salt comes from the pickled lemons, nothing else. Let's take some sheep cheese. And we made ourselves a, a light brunch. Brunch. Uh, with a, a very nice sourdough bread that I baked. Yeah, I did not think you sourced uh, that out. And <laughs> And we eat. And we eat. <laughs> you want the um, utensils? Okay, taste. Mm. Mm. That is still crunch. Sweet. Israeli cuisine is uh, influent. I mean, is veggie based. Tons of veggies, tons of veggies, tons of veggies. Uh, all Inherently, the time. Inherently, right? This is not a trend. No. This is not something new. No. We eat a lot of vegetables. In the States, we call it plant forward. Plant right forward, yeah. Yeah. I remember growing up, beef was expensive. We'd eat meat at home. Try the mm. sheep cheese. With this, all of it. You have a big mouth. I do. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So simple, so good. Really amazing. Mm.